What's up guys, Steph here and welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. It's Sunday, December 15th. I, I'm having one of those days, I just don't feel well and I've just been literally lying in bed all day watching football and taking naps. Um, but yeah, we gotta get some vlogs going, we gotta do some things. I really want to go upstairs and break down boxes and stuff just to get my upstairs a little bit back in order because I haven't been up there in a while and it's been a little bit out of control. So I think I'm gonna head up there in a little bit, put some sweats on, it's a little bit cold. And uh, yeah, and just and just see, see what we're feeling like. Um, oh, I don't know, that's it, that is it. I was thinking about trying to live stream but I just don't know if I'm if I'm up to it today. I think maybe I'll wait till sometime this week because yeah, I just feel not great. <sighs> I hate when I start feeling not great during Christmas time. I mean, no one wants to feel not great during the holiday break, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll have to put my cozy on because I'm a little bit cold. All right, let's get this day started. It's, it's like super late, guys. It's like 4.45. Yeah. <laughs> Vlogmas. Okay guys, okay guys, Tyler's cooking that cool popcorn thing where the popcorn's on a kernel and so I told him he had to wait so I could get my camera. Okay, here it is. Well, the popcorn's inside. It looks like that. It's like a dried kernel and it comes with a bag. Okay, we're gonna try it out now. Is it a microwave thing? Yeah. It says it could go on high for 90 seconds. 90 seconds, okay. Is this gonna be buttered? I put butter in it. Oh, nice, yeah. yes. I don't know if that works though. All right, here we go. I mean, I assume this is gonna be like regular popcorn, but Soren a long time ago said that it was really cool and that the popcorn would like be on the kernel. Isn't a minute and a half really long enough? I don't even know. They say it could come on <gasps> Oh, it's happening. The popcorn is popping. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. A minute and a half is gonna be perfect. When do you stop it? When it doesn't pop for what, three seconds? When you like, yeah, two to three seconds. you're able to one, two, one, one. Oh. Did anyone do that as a child when you were cooking popcorn in the microwave? It'd be like, every time you hear it, like, one, nope, 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 let's start over, start over. One, two, because you know it says to wait until popcorn doesn't pop for one to three seconds. Oh yeah, it smells like popcorn too. This is gonna be great. This must be healthier than eating like popcorn that's like already in a bag, right? Is that what it is? Do is there any more? No. <gasps> that was the last one. We have so much stuff in our pantry. Was Whoa. that long enough? Not that. Well, no, no, I think it's long enough. I mean, you said a, a minute and a half, right? Yeah, it's in 90 seconds. Careful, don't burn your hand. Ah. Isn't it hot? No. It's a little bit hot. Mmm, it smells like butter. Whoa. Wow. It's like still, it's still. Good. I know. Does that mean it didn't but pop long enough? But there's like enough? a lot. Is there still a lot on that, or is it just that tip? It's probably hot, be careful. Get a tong. There's no tongs. Here's some tongs. Oh. <laughs> 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 what? Is all the popcorn still connected to it? Not all. I it's, mean. It's just like there's some. Whoa. That's cool. So what do you think? That probably could have gone like a minute longer. Burnt. That's true. Do you think if we put that, it would burn? What an interesting concept this is. Are you gonna eat that off the cob? No. <laughs> oh yeah, it did start to burn. Yeah, there's like burning, there's like a little burning pieces. Hmm. Have you done this before? Yeah. It's nice. It's an interesting concept. I feel like it's a little bit like novelty. Do you think so? Mean? Like for fun. Yeah. 
popcorn. Look at this burnt popcorn. Do you like burnt popcorn? Not really. Really? No. Me and my sister used to burn popcorn on purpose. What? My mm. sister really liked the taste of burnt popcorn. That's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. Okay. I'm gonna start my day now. Hey guys, it's uh, 9 15 right now. I have been up in the upstairs room trying to break down boxes. I know this is such a disaster, but there's like different piles of things. And then I've also been carrying over from over there, like the pops that I don't plan to keep in my collection. And so I've reorganized all of these and I actually created a new Funko account so that I could actually add them to a collection of like my giveaways or if I start selling things so that I know what I have because it's gonna be really hard to track like where everything is. It's still gonna suck. Like I might have a pop that's like all the way in the back but I won't know. I'll just know that I have it. So I'll have to figure out, I used to use a spreadsheet format. I might have to start that, we'll see. But for now, at least I have it tracked in my Funko app. And I think, let's see, I don't know where I'm at right now. So this is my like giveaway section. Um, I'm at a total of 199 pops worth $2,400, so that's cool. Um, and these are my higher priced pops that I have in my giveaway. So right now, Baseball Fury, one of them is a Toy Tokyo, like legitimate exclusive, one of them is a, a, a con exclusive, like one's a con, I don't know. I have like a con sticker and then a not con sticker. Um, so yeah, and then I still have some other high valued ones on the other side that I haven't moved over, but this is what it's looking like so far. And I've just kind of put, been putting them all on this shelf. I'll, I'll probably have to get another shelf maybe put over there for more giveaway pops. Um, and then hopefully I can start actually selling things. That's the goal. All the pops that were like only worth $10 or whatever, I took all the pop protectors off so I could use them for other pops. And now I just have a pile of pop protectors. And I think my goal tonight is to try to organize this whole thing because ever since that earthquake a long time ago, I never picked everything up. So I'm thinking I might actually like organize the stuff. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. We shall see. I definitely need to at some point build more bookshelves. And I was thinking, I was gonna see if I could fit a plastic, like the one of those plastic shelves, fit that in this little like dwelling so I could put more pops, of my pops maybe too, because I don't know, I can't seem to buy enough of these bookshelves to actually put in my collection maybe I need to at some point like downgrade my collection I have been thinking about it but I really like all these pops like these are all here for a reason you know but there's some like I probably don't need to keep this I'm not a Rick and Morty fan um, but yeah most of these I I've kept for reasons and then once I'm done organizing I hopefully can do like a collection video like here's my collection I don't know what my collection is looking like let me look so this looks like currently, I haven't added any pops to my app for a really long time. I think I still need to add all of these. I'm pretty sure the pops that are sitting on this table still need to be added to my collection. Um, but so far I'm at, that infrared light thing is trippy, it's so crazy. I'm at 12th, oh, 748 pops and $12,783. Um, and I need to add all of these and then I still have boxes downstairs in the garage that I need to bring up and add I'm honestly just starting to run out of places to put the pops. That's the problem I mean, obviously I have tons of places But I want to try to keep my pops on this side of the room so that they don't get mixed up with all of the like stuff that I'm trying to give away or sell so We'll have to keep working on it, but I can imagine if I'm able to get another one of these bookshelves This one's a little bit smaller than these, but if I got another one of these and put that there on this wall. Put one of the plastic shelves in here because the plastic shelves hold a lot of pops. Like that thing over there is holding a lot of pops, you know? And then eventually I'm trying to get, I have some like the tall bookshelves. Well, they're not tall, but they're like the not full size bookshelves. I want to line those up on that wall and those will also be my own pop collection. And if I really need to, I could put more smaller bookshelves over there, although I try not to. I don't know, we'll see. And then maybe as I'm doing that, I'll really start to like look at what I have in my collection and see if there's anything that I need to, to remove from the collection. But we will see. 
Um, okay, let's go downstairs. I actually think I was gonna do this today, but I I am just not feeling great. I uh, I feel like I still probably have a fever. I've been not wanting to check because that means if I check it and I have one, then I have one. There's nothing I can do about it. But um, yeah, let's go downstairs and maybe do advent calendars and close out the vlog. What do you think? What do you think? I've been watching Parks and Rec up here. I watched the football games. Oh, the Niners game today, you guys, was awful. The Niners, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Although Buffalo came out with a win for me, so that was good. But man, the Niners game, that was really, really hard. And I can't believe like we went from being one of the best teams in the league. I mean, we're still good, but like now we're in the wild card. That's ridiculous. Ugh. I have faith though that they're gonna pull it through. They just need to win out. I'm pretty sure if we win the rest of our games, there's two more games, then we will, um, then I think we will win first seed. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Don't quote me. Hello guys, um, it's 10, 12. I just ate some lasagna, I was kinda hungry. Um, it, I just I feel really hot. But I'm craving chocolate right now, so I'm gonna open this. I was supposed to use this for my ugly sweater um, thing, but then it didn't work out. And so, wait, is this a really big Ferrero Rocher? Oh, it is. Oh, this is actually a thing of chocolate. I thought this was just gonna be a container. I just want the Ferrero Rocher. Hmm. Should we open it? I think we should. I think we should. Okay, let's see how this is. I don't know what I thought I was buying when I bought this. I don't think I thought I was buying a ball, like a, a giant ball of chocolate. Is that really what this is? It's glued on here very tight. Ugh. How am I supposed to open this? I love how Max on my bed, you can't see him. He's just like, he can't be bothered by this. He's like, no, I don't even care. Okay, so I took off the foil and now it's this like plastic ball. This looks like a golden snitch. There's a little um, piece of foil here. I think that's the, the tape. Whoa. This is very in-depth. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. Whoa. Now, this is not sealed very well, but in theory, this is a giant, a giant Ferrero Rocher, but it has Ferrero Rochers inside. So I don't have to actually eat this, but I kind of wanna try it. That was a lot. I didn't mean to eat that much. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is basically like the outside of a Ferrero Rocher with the chocolate and the hazelnut. It doesn't have the cream though. Mmm. This is pretty good. Okay. I'm not gonna eat too much of that right now because I want to actually eat one of these. For those of you who don't know what Ferrero Rochers are, it's basically like this hollow ball of chocolate and hazelnut. And inside there's like a, ch a hazelnut cream, which is like Nutella, and then a full hazelnut inside. So this is what it looks like. Kind of like a miniature version of that giant one that I just opened. And then... There's also like a wafery thing in between the chocolate and the hazelnut spread. But that's what it looks like inside. Did anybody else watch um, Bon Appetit? Because Claire actually did a um, Gourmet Makes episode on that. And it was very interesting. I love Ferrero Rochers. They're so good. Okay. Well, that was neat. I didn't realize that it was going to be inside of an actual hollow ball of chocolate. So I'll leave that around for me to snack on. I think I'm going to eat this last one. And then we'll do advent calendars. Gosh, now that I talked about the Gourmet Makes episode, now I want to watch it. Okay, but let's do advent calendars first. Um, today is the 15th, so it's our odd day. We have all of our odd socks. So we'll do those first, and then we'll do our toy advent calendars. Okay, first one up, we have the cat. So I think we're doing number eight. Eight? Yeah. Two, yeah, I don't know, actually. I think so. Taco cat, spelled backwards, is taco cat. 
Oh my gosh. Taco. <gasps> I never realized that. <laughs> what a good fun fact. Wow. Okay. Okay, so the taco. <gasps> yes, the socks that we got. Oh my gosh, I might not be able to give these ones to Chris. Look how cute this cat is. Taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat. <gasps> these are awesome. Oh my god, those are really, really cute cat socks. The cat on that is so cute. All right, then we have our Nickelodeon advent calendar. We're going to do day number eight, which is, ah, real monsters. And we have another set of ankle socks. And we have... Ickis, Oblina, and Crumb. Oh, I like the um, the actual graphics on these is really nice, surprisingly. Sometimes with the ankle socks, it can be a little bit hit or miss. And then we have our Star Wars calendar. Ooh, are we going to get Chewbacca socks? I wish I could actually, like, do this, but I can't, so. I'm just going to keep tearing it. I'm just going to reach behind like that. Okay, we got some ankle Chewbacca socks. These are amazing. Ooh, what a great sock day, you guys. I think this might be one of my favorite sock days so far. I like all three of these. I cannot pick a favorite. I would say between the cat and the Chewbacca, those are probably my most favorite. Although, I actually really like the graphics on these, these ah, real monster socks. So that's really cool. All right, we have our Lego advent calendar, and we are doing day number... What do we say? 15. Okay, we have a snowman, so let me go ahead and put that together and I'll show you what it looks like. I weirdly really enjoyed this build. It was very simple, but it's kind of cool. See, like, if we're not going to get all minifigures, which I know they're not going to give us, I like that they give us things like this, because I think this is really cool. So, there you have it, snowman. Alright, next we're doing our Marvel calendar. This is Marvel number one. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got Captain Marvel in her, like, fire suit thing, I would say. So that's neat. I don't think they're going to give us a variant of Captain Marvel, although I don't know that for a fact. Let's check it out. Oh, man, I'm not doing well with the thing. Okay, same one, so we'll leave that in there. And then we have our Harry Potter Funko Advent Calendar. Why is it not focusing? Focus. Are we going to get Cedric Diggory? No. We got... Is this Ron? Ron in his dress robe? For some reason, I had thought we had already received Ron, but... I probably had that mistaken. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm surprised that, well yeah, I guess they kind of did it weird this year. Because we started off with what? Harry Cat, and then it got Victor Crumb, and then Cat. Did we not get Hermione? I thought we got Hermione. Oh, you know what? Maybe we haven't received Hermione yet. I didn't even realize that. That's so weird. I think I would have just assumed that we would have gotten, like, Hermione early on. Same thing with Ron, but there you go. We, have, we got Ron. I like that. I can dig that. I wonder if Hermione's going to be, like, number 20. That's what I'm going to guess. All right, last thing we have to do is punch our calendar. We are in day number 15. And we're going to go for it. We are going to go for it. Ready? Man, this thing's actually kind of hard to punch through. Okay, let me try again. Let me try again. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should do a finger punch. It's starting to rip. Okay, I think I got this. Third, third time's a charm. There we go. Got him. Okay. Oh, we have another p pack of Cosmic Eclipse. We just unpacked that yesterday, but I didn't put these, you know, I kind of did a random order, so I don't really know. So let's go ahead and open these and see what we got. Okay, so here's our pack. I really like this wrapper. Look how intense they look. Oh, man.
Okay, so before we look at the cards, we are going to share the code card. So if you're playing Pokemon TCG online, you can grab this code. Um, for those of you, some of you guys have been asking me, I do plan on starting to play Pokemon TCG again. I'm just waiting for my iPad to come in because the tablet that I had before wasn't really strong enough to like survive the amount that I was playing on it. So there's that. Okay, we are going to do the card trick. One, two, three, four. Move those. And here we go. Great catcher. That's a kind of a cool trainer. Probo Pass. Torkoal. Eevee. Flabebe. <laughs> Sneasel, not too. Trapinch. Okay, so our reverse holo is a Lunala. You know what's been cool? I feel like in uh, lately we've been getting a lot of reverses that are rare. This is a rare card. So this one looks actually really cool. But let's see what our real rare card is. Ugh. We got a regular rare of Walrein. I have been striking out of the actual rare card. I've been getting some good reverses that are rare, but um, the actual rare card have been regular rares for a lot of the packs. All right, guys, that's gonna end day 15 of Vlogmas. I am gonna go to bed. It's like 10:30 now. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, it's oh, it's exactly 10:30. It's 10:30. I'm gonna go to bed so I can get some rest. Um, I actually have to drive the kids to school tomorrow, so. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I gotta wake up early for that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit this right now so that I don't have to do it in the morning. And yeah, thank you for joining me on day 15 of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Happy Monday for those of you who are watching this on Monday. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!